In Commitment 2010 news, the November 2nd general election is five weeks away from today, and the big race is for governor, where Democrat Neil Abercrombie takes on Republican Duke Iona. And Dan Meisenzal joins us now in studio with Mr. Abercrombie. Dan. All right, thank you very much, Kenny and Mejia, and uh, Mr. Abercrombie, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Danny. Congratulations on your, uh, your win in the primary election. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about, uh, I guess, your opponent, Duke Iona. Yes. Coming in, uh, one of the first things he did after the uh, primary election was challenge you to a series of debates on, yeah. on specific issues. And uh, where did that whole process go? What was uh, your response to that? Well, we'll be on, on KITV, and we're going to be on PBS. And there are numerous forums, so I expect we'll have a, uh, more than ample opportunity to discuss all the issues. And uh, one of the issues, he's presented a, a number of his proposals, uh, uh, among them a four-day work week for uh, state mm -hmm. employees. Now, I'm sure not, not everyone's ideas are bad ideas. Is that, is that a good idea? Is that one that you would consider well, as well? It's been around for a long time. I think that's where the, uh, the proposition comes forward that I've put forward is uh, let's talk to the people involved. How can they best produce uh, for the public in meeting their mission? I've been talking to public employees. Recall during the primary, I said, well, probably the biggest untapped resource we have in the state is the is the public employees who who have to go out there every day and 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 deal with uh, issues that the public expects to be addressed. So I think uh, you, we should consult with them and 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 say how can we get the mission done best? If it's changing the work week, if it's if it's changing the way we do things, I'm all for it. But also, don't you have to take into account the fiscal responsibility? And sometimes, perhaps, mm -hmm. maybe the employees aren't all for something. But if it saves the city and county, or I'm sorry, the uh, the state. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Money isn't that something you have to consider? Yeah, that, and, and that's exactly right. I've had uh, one employee after another, uh, no matter what the the venue, the city and county, and and the state for that matter, saying, "Look, you know, if we did things a different way, for the same amount of money uh, and for the same personnel or even less, we could do the job a lot better." I think you go to the people who are actually on the job and ask them, "Is there a way to improve it?" Ask them, and I, I think you'll get answers. What's people are committed. They're they're in public employment. Uh, because they do have a public commitment. Uh, what's the plan leading up uh, in the next five weeks leading up to the general election? What, what is your campaign planning on doing? And how big a role will Brian Schatz, the lieutenant governor candidate, play in that? Well, he was here uh, yesterday, and uh, I think that uh, my relationship with, with Brian is very, very fortunate for, for the team concept that we have here and why the, uh, we, we have separate races for governor, lieutenant governor nomination. Then we come together, and it's very, very fortunate for me that... Uh, I think that I knew all of those uh, the candidates running uh, could work with any of them and, and Brian uh, very very well. Uh, we were together with the Obama campaign. He's been a chair of the Democratic Party. He's been a legislator, so he can relate on that level. I'm very very happy about it. You know, things are never black and white. We live in a world of uh, shades of gray. But uh, mm -hmm. this 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 election coming up, th things are pretty black and white. There is a very liberal uh, wing uh, here in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and uh, and you and uh, Mr. Schatz mm -hmm. represent that wing. And then you have Duke Iona, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the very conservative uh, type of wing there. Do you mm -hmm. think that that is that the choice between? Uh, uh, that voters have generally I the think voters want government to work. I don't think they care much about the labels. I think that uh, the numbers that uh, showed in in the primary uh, indicate that very, very clearly. The people uh, uh, who are voting, uh, the people of the state want a government that's going to work for them. All right. Uh, he is a candidate for governor on the Democratic ticket. His name is Neil Abercrombie. Sir, thank you so much for being here this morning. Yeah. And uh, really thanks it. to KITV. I'm looking forward to, uh, to the debates and the discussions and forums coming up. And, of course, we'll have a lot leading up to that as well. And if you'd like to see this interview again or our interview with uh, Duke Iona, the Republican candidate for governor, which uh, we had on last week, or Brian Schatz, you can go to our morning news site there. You can go to KITV.com slash this morning.